A recent retro computing project of mine was building a Z80 based single board computer. I based it on Grant Searle's minimal chip count Z80 computer. I've also built versions of his 6502 and 6809 single board computers. It's a simple design that contains a Z80 microprocessor, 32K of static RAM, 8K of ROM, and a serial port. It only uses six integrated circuits. Grant ported a version of Microsoft BASIC originally for the NASCOM computer to it. With a computer attached to it running a serial terminal emulator, you can enter and run BASIC programs or call machine language programs from BASIC. I initially built it up on a breadboard to verify that the circuit was working. I then designed a printed circuit board. My design has a few minor differences from Grant's. I built the 32K RAM version. He also has a 56K version, but I had some of the 32K RAM chips on hand. I used an FTDI USB to serial converter rather than a full RS-232 port. A jumper selects whether to get power from the USB port. An LED indicates when power is on. And I added a 36-pin expansion header connector that brings out the address, data, and control lines. I entered the schematic using the web-based Easy EDA software and then designed a PCB layout. I ordered five boards from JLC PCB, which were very inexpensive, and built up four of the boards. The board works great and makes a simple, low-cost, retrocomputing or educational platform. Here's a session booting up and running BASIC. And here's a short session playing a hangman game from the classic book Basic Computer Games by David All. I modified the source code for the ROM firmware to cross-assemble on a desktop computer using the Z80 ASM cross-assembler so I could assemble it and program an EEPROM or EEPROM. Some time ago I ported my JMON machine language monitor for the 6502 to the Intel 8080 processor to run on an Altair replica computer. For this project I converted it from 8080 to Z80 assembler and got it running on the board with a few additional commands. Here's a sample run on a board with the JMON monitor burned into ROM instead of BASIC.
I also ported a simple monitor program from this book, 8080Z80 Assembly Language, Techniques for Improved Programming. The expansion connector allows experimenting with hardware. I built Grant Searle's circuit for simple input and output ports. It was constructed on a breadboard. All signals needed from the computer were available on the expansion connector. It worked very well and would make a nice add-on board of its own. You can program it from BASIC using the INP and OUT functions or control it from machine language. From BASIC I found I could toggle output lines at about a 450 hertz rate and from machine language about 137 kilohertz. This was a fun project and was the first time I did any Z80 machine language programming. I have some more software I'm working on such as adding a disassembler to the JMON monitor. I'm also planning to adapt to my Arduino based logic analyzer to support it. If you want to build a board yourself, you're welcome to use the schematic and board layout files on my GitLab account. Incidentally, if you want an even more retro feel when running it, I recommend this serial terminal kit from Budgetronics, based on a design by Jeff Graham.